Hey guys, Andy Austin with the Bald MP. Listen, it's this time of year, youth football starting up. This is the video to watch because this is the number one question I get asked all the time is, what's the right kind of helmet to buy for my player? And it's usually a 10 year old, 11 year old, 12 year old, something like that. I've been a nurse practitioner for 19 years and been around youth football for close to that long, okay? so. You know, everybody is concerned about head injuries and, and um, youth sports with reason. Um, so the technology that we grew up with 30 years ago oof, is, is, is so past due and the technology now is so much better. Uh, so I'm gonna give you the top eight um, rated um, youth football helmets and if you haven't checked this site out, if you're a parent, if you're especially if you're a coach, anything you, you're involved in, any way of youth football, you need to keep up on this site. It's Virginia Tech's football helmet rating. It's fantastic, y'all. What they do every single year is they'll rate the top 20, 30 football helmets that come out every year. And it's really impressive the type of technology they put into this. I mean, if you ever seen like the crash test dummy type stuff, they'll put a, a, a helmet on the model and they'll do side impacts, front impacts, all kind of different low impact, high impacts. And then they'll measure the type of uh, force that's, that's, that's generated inside the model head and then they'll give it a rating, the, the, the type of protection the helmet gives. And this is what they do every year, and it's free. It's free. And what I like to do is use it to where you can kind of do a benefits versus cost analysis. Because I get it, these helmets are getting expensive. Um, you're dealing with kids that may get two years out of it because they're growing, you know? I mean, some of these kids will grow, you know, big time in a year. So just to kind of give you an idea, who remembers this guy? Oh, who remembers that bad boy? with the blue air. Yes, sir. Well, that is about 30 year old technology. Okay, to give you an idea, this was top of the line technology about six years ago. Okay, this is the Rydell Speed Flex youth model. Okay, that was the top of the line about six years ago. Still very good helmet. Still very good helmet. You'll see You'll see it a, a lot still, uh, but according to the Virginia Tech football rating, the that particular model, just the base speed flex, didn't make top 10. So, but if you wanna check out the full list, the 31 helmets, I think, of the youth, youth, uh, just Google Virginia Tech football helmets 2022. They'll give you all the information. They'll give you all the information on how to test it. It's really cool, really cool. But we're just gonna give you the, the breakdown, and that way you can get an idea hey, this is how much I wanna spend. This is the type of protection you can get, okay? So, what jumped off the, the, the ratings for me, guys, you know, growing up, you know, we didn't have, whenever we played, we didn't have this Zenith and Vices stuff. I mean, this is brand new, newer helmet companies, right? Um, and uh, so, evidently, they're doing something right. So. The number one, that, and what we'll give this rating here is the lower the number, this is your rating, the lower the number, the better protection, okay? So you want a low number for protection, and of course, we'll have the, the retail price. So you'll be able to uh, identify, okay, this is a helmet for my kid, this is what it'll get protection-wise according to their rating, and this is what will cost. And a lot of times, this is helpful because it doesn't necessarily mean you have to drop $500 on a helmet to get good protection for your kid, right? I mean, this is, this is you know, it's something to consider, particularly that they're growing, right? So the Vices, zero two youth, number one, number one on the rating, scored the lowest score of 0 0.19, 549 bucks estimated retail. And what's interesting too is we put on here is the weight of the helmet, okay? So that's important because some of these kids, you might have a 10-year-old kid that's 
60 pounds, you know? So it's something to consider. Uh, 4.1 pounds, okay? And now I will say the average of all these youth helmets now are plus or minus around four pounds. Uh, and that's, you know, guys, that's, that's a good size helmet on these kids. But that's the way it's going. And, and, and better protection means better, just more weight, unfortunately, okay? So number two, Zenith Shadow XR Youth. Scored a .62 on the Virginia Tech helmet rating score, $449, okay? 4.5 pounds. That was, by the way, the heaviest that they measured. It was 4.5 pounds on the helmet. Number three, the Vices Zero One Youth, 0 0.69, pounds, $495. And with a four pound weight. And there's your Rydell Speed Flex Diamond Youth, Scored a 1.24, 429 bucks. So what you're seeing now, the top four that scored the highest is you're north of 400 bucks. But hey, you know, you know, that's a bat these days. How many of us are buying those bats or bought those bats? Okay. So number five, Zenith Youth XT E Plus, 2.11 rating. Scored fifth overall, 199 bucks. That's a, that's impressive, guys. That's pretty good protection, and it's by far the cheapest so far. You know, in the half, and plus it's 3.9 pounds, 3.9 pounds. So you know, although you've lost some ground here a little bit on their rating, I mean, it's you're saving over 300 bucks. So something to consider. Uh, Shut comes in with the Use Vengeance Z10 VTD 2.32 rating, $399, 3.5 pounds. That was the lightest one of, of the top eight that we uh, put on here. Um, and then the Shut Youth F7 2.35, $569, 4.2 pounds. So there you go, that kind of gives you an idea. And this is the manufacturer estimated value as, as, as it is at the time they posted, okay, beginning this year. So you may want to, you know, if you've got a helmet, you may want to start looking at this list if he's kind of growing uh, for next year even, okay? Get it on a pretty good deal. And then um, you got your Shut Youth Vengeance Pro VTD, 2.57 rating, 199 bucks, 3.8 pounds. So, you know, that's that's kind of, I, I just looked at I always look at it every year because people ask me all the time, what's the best helmet for my kid? So, you know, that's a good link to have. I'll put it in the description below. Um, and I'll give you some good information to give parents and yourself whenever you're kind of justifying cost versus protection. So uh, again, Virginia Tech helmet ratings, 2022, fantastic. Hey, they do varsity helmets. They do bicycle helmets, hockey helmets, all that kind of stuff. Really cool. Go check it out. If you like it, give us a like, give us a thumbs up. And uh, if you would subscribe so more folks can get this information out. Uh, we're gonna cover all kind of cool stuff that impacts you, impacts your family, and uh, that's it. All right, bald MP, the bald MP, that's me. We out.